Hey guys, it's me, Neon Jacket, bringing you a episode to a new series. Um, I've just been talking to a few people, a few friends of mine, and they all think that I should start a series. I know a few of you guys have suggested it as well. Um, I'm not too sure how I'm going to approach a series, like, recording-wise. I don't know if I'm going to stick with the non-editing part of my videos, I might consider, like, editing the videos a tiny bit just to cut out the the areas where I walk from one place to the other and things like that. Um, but I'm not 100% sure yet, so if you guys have suggestions on what I should do in that category, then please do let me know. Um, and... Right off the bat, I'm just going to run to the Katana Cave, so I can go grab that, and then I'm going to go grab the Modern Axe to make things a bit easier right off the bat. Um, I'm not sure where I want to live. I've considered building up in the snow. I think I have a general idea of where I want to live, and I believe I might build over near... I think it's it's on the east. No, it's on the west side, I believe. But I'm not a hundred percent sure on exactly where I want to live. Now I'm going. I'm not going to go in to the cave entrance to get the modern axe at the main cannibal camp. I'm gonna go at the easier one. Not necessarily easier one to find, but the easier one to. To like get the modern axe, just so I'm not wasting more time than I need to on getting the modern axe. Where am I? Okay. Damn, there's already some skinnies. Alright, well, let's go grab the katana. Then I won't have to worry about skinnies. Now, I'm not, I don't know exactly how long this series will last, or how long it will be, how long it'll take. I don't want it to be, like, hundreds of episodes, unless that is what, unless I'm really enjoying the series, then I might make it that. But, as of now, how I look at the series is I'm just gonna grab everything, I'm gonna play around with the game, have some fun with it, and I ran past the... The actual cave entrance. But yeah, I'm just going to have fun with it. Might try and get a few achievements. Because I've been meaning to. So, the, yeah. I have some ideas on what I want to do for episodes in the near future. But as of right now, I just want to get this started. I was a bit hesitant to actually start the series. I don't know why. But I just... I don't know. I I always second guess myself when it comes to making videos. Especially making video types. It, it's just... I don't know. It, it gives me anxiety about it. And I end up stressing myself out. So, yeah. We're just gonna... Rather than keep thinking about it, we're just gonna go. We're just gonna do it. And here we are doing it. Alright. Grab all the cloth we can. Um, I might also try and get all the pieces to the toy, like these pieces. They're not too hard to find. It's more... It's a bit time-consuming, but that'll just give us more things to do video-wise. Alright... Yes, I hear you. You're a pretty mutant. Very pretty mutant. But stay over there. I don't want to see you. Because you're ugly. God, I hate caves. I mean, at least the Katana Cave isn't too bad. Katana Cave is pretty safe. As long as you don't make the wrong turn. I would try and, um, I would try 
and what am I trying to say? Oh god, hold on. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what I was gonna say. I would try and what the hell am I trying to say? All right, I lost my train of thought. Fuck that. All right. Um, let's see. Flare. Yeah. Oh, good. We can take more meds. Meds are always helpful. All right. Now let's go grab the torch. Get some more liquid. Alright, yeah, nothing else back there. Let's make sure I have full stock of liquid. Yep, alright. Let's get out of this pit. And then let's go to the center ish. Um, we're gonna go to the small cannibal camp that's like. Actually, real quick, that's not the right button. That's the right button. Let's real quick combine this. One, all right. Now we have a way to defend ourselves. This is a jacket. No, it's not a jacket. I'm sorry, I lied to you. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to remember where that jacket is. Is it down? It might be down in the, uh, the modern axe cave. I don't know. I know there's... Where was that other jacket? Holy crap. I know it's in the gun part video. In the gun part video, I actually showed a handful of, uh, locations for, like, clothing. Um... And two of the locations, I didn't show the first one, but there was another one. There were two that I found that day um, that were like jackets. So I might try and get the jackets. Ooh, oh, I need to do that too. There's something I want to show you guys that I found out watching a video recently that I thought was pretty cool. But we're going to have to run back and find the, the airplane. Um... But it's just, like, getting another outfit. It's pretty cool. The airplane's back there, but we need to go over there. Just straight that way. And get some stamina up. Um. I'm still debating on where exactly I want to build. Like, I, I wouldn't be opposed to living in the snow. Although, I don't care to deal with the, like, ice giants. I don't want to deal with those type of cannibals, because they tend to be a bit bigger and meaner. I mean, all the cannibals are pretty mean, but I mean, you know, they're worse. Um. Ooh, hello, drop. I don't, normally I would just run off, but, uh, that would just be, that'd be bad. That wouldn't look too good afterwards. Let's see. There's a cave, right? Yeah, it's a cave. I don't think it's the cave that I want. Grab some meat. Okay. Um, I don't think that's the cave I want. Oh, it is. Alright, good. I'm going to just run over here and grab the, the clothing, and then open some more of these, see if we get some more snacks. Oh, hello. Howdy. How are ya? Pretty dead. Yeah, you kind of trapped yourself, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Alright, first cannibal encounter. Wonderful. Not really. But I would expect as much. I mean, we are at their own, we're at their camp, so. Let me, I want to wash off, just so we don't get infected. Um, and then I'm going to go down, I'm going to go grab TNT, I'm going to blow that up. And just so we can have the part. Ooh, hello. Give me your electronic parts. 
Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Now this brings you a bit far. It's in the, uh, this actually is a really good shortcut. Just in case you don't want to fight as many cannibals. You will still have to fight two cannibals total. But, uh, it's, uh, and it, it can, like, confuse you and get you lost. But here are the only two cannibals that you have to fight. Alright, he's dead, but you're not. Now you're dead. Are you dead? Yeah, you're dead. Alright, those were the only two cannibals we have to fight. Uh, coming in this way, that is. This way. This way. This way. Alright. It's a lot easier than coming in through the main cannibal camp. And it quite significantly like reduces the amount of time you spend in this cave as well as reduces the amount of cannibals that you have to fight and now we have clothing oh isn't wait is this the oh no not oh whoa hold on apparently I clicked out of the game sorry dynamite Tape, tape, paintbrush, what is this? Multiple stab wounds and head trauma. Let's get some red paint, more dynamite, duct tape, rope, always take some rope, more soda, duct tape, there's our modern axe, more cloth, arrows, flare, flare, um, more arrows, take the arrows. And then, before we head out, let's... I want to put that on two. Okay. Now we get out. Alright. And then after this, let's see. I need to blow up the hole once we get up there. I want to do that real quick. After that... Trying to think what else we need to get real quick. Um, no, I think after that we can just go and find the location we want to live. I think that's what we might do. And these videos will probably end up being anywhere from 25 to 30 minutes long. That is, if I decide not to edit them. I'm still debating on if I should edit them to the point where I'm just like cutting down or cutting out the time where I uh like I you know in quiet moments or whenever I'm just walking somewhere I can cut times like that out for the most part I want to leave the majority of things in or like specifically um cutting trees down I mean if you if you play the forest then you do that enough so I mean no reason to force you guys to just watch me chop trees down. It's never fun. Alright, and we're already out of the caves. It definitely did not take long. Okay, now from here, from here, from here, where to go? Let's see. Oh, yeah, we need to go blow this all up. Let me do 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 equip. Now I'm not going to make a permanent home in this video. Uh, so if you guys have any type of like, if you want to see a specific location, play wise, like if you guys want to see me play in a specific location, do tell, and we can definitely decide that together because I'm not 100% sure on what I or where I want to live how I want to live if I want to go the cannibalistic route or if I want to just stick with eating animals either way I want you guys to help me decide okay um grab more of these you know can use all of the candies Gimme. Ooh, 
Benny, Benny. Sorry. I'm... I like hitting things with a sword. It's fun. Okay, okay. Now I need to actually find out where I'm going. Um, let's see. We're in the southeast part of the map. I don't want to wash off my paint. Um, let's go to the north. We're just going to go to the west. Let's go to the west. Wicked Witch the West. Um, I might just like walk around and show the locations I thought about, or I'm thinking about building at. Uh, I don't necessarily want to, I don't want to like not deal with cannibals if I don't want to fight cannibals all the time. I know where I want to build, but I kind of want to have some cannibals like every now and then come and attack so just you know it adds a little spice to our to our drink damn you rain washed off my paint you asshole um but yeah I, I i want to deal with cannibals but i don't want it to be like every two seconds i'm having to defend my base you know, I mean, that that's never fun. New plant discovered. Where? Oh, is it that purple one? It is. What is that? Chicory. Alright. Um, <laughs> we should actually be coming up on the west coast here soon. I hope. We better. Oh, no, we're going north. Alright, we need to go this way. It's over, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember exactly where it is, okay. It's over by the pit, it's over near, okay, well, there's the pit, uh, it's over that way, it's near, like, a cannibal camp, it's right next to a cannibal camp, but the cannibal camp isn't really, like, that active. It is next to a cannibal route, where cannibals will, like, run back and forth. But for the most part, you know, it's, and it's right next to Geese Lake, so we're able to go and grab that gun part over there. Um, and it is a pretty big and flat location. Normally, I would build down near the tree or over on the uh, west coast right before you hit the snow. But on the west coast up there, there tends to be a lot of cannibals that attack you. Like, it's it's all the time. So it's really annoying. So I don't think we're going to build over there. Now it is turning night, and we're finally at Geese Lake. So at least we're here. Let me real quick grab some dynamite. Because I do want to grab this gun part over here. I'm just trying to be extra cautious. I, yeah, I don't like cannibals. They're fun to play around with. But I mean, for the most part, I'd rather not see a cannibal. Timber. Demolition man. There's an achievement. Alright. First achievement of the Let's Play series. Way to go, way to go, good job guys. Alright, uh, it's over this way, over this way, because it's, a. Uh, it's like directly next to the cannibal camp. It's getting real dark. Let's see. Wow, those uh, crates are like real glow in the dark. There's a the cave entrance to the rebreather. No. Where does that go to? I don't remember where that goes. We're starting to get cold. Oh, it's a new moon. Let's drink some booze, eat some snacks. And some liquid just to keep us the reason I drank booze just in case you guys don't know or if some of you guys don't know 
Uh, it keeps you warm. Whoa, okay. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't go through with that full jump. Um, I can't see Shisa, so we're going to get a shelter going. Alright. And now I just need four more sticks. Easy peasy. One, two, three, four, five. All right, that's perfect. Now, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to sleep just yet, but we can sure as hell try. Now, I'm going to save before we sleep, just because this uh, these destroy after. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, the little teepees, they destroy after you sleep in them. You'll see whenever we wake up. See, boom, gone. So, I suggest you always save before you sleep in those. And let's see, we're coming up on it. Should just be over here. Right here. Bada boom, look at all this flat land. Geese Lake is right there. It's all real flat here, and then there's a cannibal camp, as well as a cave entrance just over there, as well as a cave entrance back there. Gotta love these cannibals. They put such beautiful sculptures up. Ooh, booze. Thank you. Pebbles. Alright. Um, so this is one location. Uh, I, I, I do really like this area a lot. Uh, that's the other location over there near those huts. That's another location that I built at and it sucked. I never suggest building over there. It's really bad. Um, you know what, ooh, let's run over here, and let's go and grab the gun parts over here, I believe, I mean, there are four over here, there's, yeah, there's four over here, four or three, but I'm not gonna go grab the ones up in the snow, just because I don't want to deal with that, oh, there's some wandering skinnies, I don't want to deal with them either. Yep, keep walking. Keep going. Keep it going. Yeah. There we go. Good job. Sneaky snooze. Yeah, there, see, there are definitely patrol routes that go over in that area. I really do like that area, though. That's a really nice area to build. You're kind of in the center of everything. There are some more cannibals over here. We might actually have to fight these guys. Though I don't want the other three to run back over here. I'd rather that not happen. Before we actually get into a fight, let's drink and eat. Just so we can have full stamina and all of those wonderful things and they're running away. Come here. Come here. I just want one of you. I don't want all three of you at once. Just one or two. Mirror, mirror, mirror. Yes, hello. Howdy. Hello. Communicate with me. We could also uh, go the passive route where we just kind of like train them and show them that we're not here to hurt them. Because, I mean, if you haven't noticed, damn. If you haven't noticed, they don't attack you. At least the skinnies, they'll, they'll, like, study you before they run up and attack you. But in order to train them, you kind of have to not turn your back on them. If they run up to attack you, you just block, you let them hit you. You're supposed to do it with, like, a stick. Because if they see anything modern in your hand, um, they'll realize that you're not, like, a, a cannibal like them. And they will hate you for it. So, there are just some... Some things that you guys should know, if you don't already know, they're actually quite helpful uh, hints and tricks and tips and all that. Right. 
And we only have five pieces of dynamite, which is okay. We can get more in the near future, because we can always go back in the cave. And we can always make electronical parts and all our uh, explosives. We can't necessarily make electric parts, but I mean, explosives are definitely easy to make. It just takes a few things to make them. Um, I'm trying to think of the other location. Oh, oh, the other location is just up there. It's near the pond. That will be a bit difficult just from the lack of resources that are up there. Uh, so I, I do think I might end up building over that way. The place that I showed you over near the crates and all that stuff, I might build over there. Just because it is a really nice location. I, I personally like that location a lot. So that might be where we call base. But as of now, we're just going to... Hello, boar. Might as well grab us some boar pelt. This was something they added, I believe, in... Whenever a full release came out, they added that, I believe, where you're able to actually get pelt off of the boars. Um, you get pelt now off of boars, raccoons, uh, let's see, boars, raccoons, obviously deer, that, that was always a thing, you were always able to get pelt off of deer, um, deer, these lizard monitors, and then the rabbits, you're always able to get pill off of them, but, come on lizard, get tired and stop running out, where are you, I heard you scream, there you are, ow, yeah, no, let's not do that, um, now, one thing that I'm happy about that they added, uh, the forest devs, that is, is they added VR finally. That came out whenever they did the full release. Um, I sadly don't have a VR, and I don't plan on getting one. Um, but it's cool, because in VR, you don't really get staggered when you get hit. So you're able to swing while getting hit, and it, it's very helpful. Because, you know, like, you can't really swing if a cannibal hits you. Then, no, that's not what I wanted. Um, there, that's what I wanted. But if a cannibal hits you, then you have to wait until you get, un like, until you're not staggered, and then hit them. And it's, it's a bit difficult at times, especially if you're getting ganged up on. If you're getting ganged up on, well, you know, sayonara had some bad experiences with overthinking that I'm able to do one thing and then it turns out that I suck and then I can't. So, yeah, be careful with that. This definitely does happen. Um, we're just going to go grab this gun part. This was another area. I've built here before. I built just right on that ridge right there. Uh, there's a, There tends to always be boars around, which is amazing for, like, food supply. Um, other than that, there just tends to be a lot of cannibals. I mean, a lot of cannibals. So, you do have to be careful up in this area if you do build over here. But it is pretty nice. There are a lot of trees. Um, eventually, it gets a bit harder because you have to go back up there near the lake to go cut down trees, and then you're just kind of waiting for all these trees to sprout back up. Um, yeah, I think we might just build over there. But as I said, if you guys have a suggestion on where exactly you'd like a good location to build, um, I know of the location down at the very south side of the beach over by the yacht. I know that area near that big tree, that's a nice area, but there still tends to be a pretty often like attacks of cannibals. So, but that's that's not too big a problem as long as we can get our defenses built. 
up and, and you know, get them going before we get attacked, then it's alright. But yeah, definitely do let me know what your guys' opinion is, if you guys have any hints or tips or suggestions. Definitely comment that below, and I, I mean, yeah, I'll definitely talk with you, and we can see what's going on there. Um, and I'm trying to, I'm, the whole video so far, I've been thinking about how I want to build the base, how I'm going to, like, plan it out. Um, I might, I want, like, an outer, I want a defense wall. I do want that, I know that for a fact. I want a defense wall that goes around our base, and then I want another wall behind that defense wall, but that would be stone, or the stone would be out front. It, I want a stone wall surrounding the wooden defense wall, because stone, I mean, it's a bit tankier. Uh, um, hmm. In other areas, we could go all the way over there on the northeast side of the map. Uh, it's pretty flat over there, but there's a lot of cannibals that like to to wander over there. And they aren't the, the friendly cannibals. They're the cannibals that are like, yo, there's a, a house. Let's go hit it. They're like rebellious cannibals. Where the skinnies, they're just kind of, they're chickens. But they're adorable. They're fun to play with. Another thing I've been thinking about is I want to build one of those big rafts. Like, the big rafts. And, uh, put a whole bunch of, like, log holders on it. And then we could easily take the log holders and just go, like, to a heavily forested area on the map and we'd be able to like get all the logs we have or all the logs we need or whatever because I mean a defense wall that's not it's not exactly cheap wood wise but I mean you could definitely get that um I'm gonna try and get one more bunny I just want one more bunny for the rabbit fur boots so our uh, our movement will be muffled it's poor that's not rabbit fur boots it's um rabbit fur boots yeah three and then two rope we have three rope so i'm gonna need to shoot two more bunnies got it I've actually gotten better with my aiming, if you guys haven't noticed, and I'm pretty proud of it. Oh. Alright, just duplicated heads, why not? Wait. Oh, never mind. I thought I was gonna keep duplicating the head. And I was gonna, like, you know, be a founder of an exploit. I don't know why you would want so many bunny heads, but I mean, hey, I guess some people like bunny heads. I don't, I don't know. That, that'd be a personal thing, because uh, I can't say I care for thousands of bunny heads. Um, one thing that I kind of wish this game would have, although I, I don't see it ever happening and I don't really care for it to happen, but it'd just be interesting to have, like, tranquilizing darts. I don't know why I think that would be cool, but I feel like it would just be pretty fun, like, being able to knock out the bunnies. Rather than just, like, waiting for them to walk in a trap. Because if you were able to just, like, knock out the bunny. Then, I mean, you know, you could just go pick up the unconscious bunny. Throw it in a cage. So, I mean, like, I don't know. I think that'd be interesting. Oh, bunny. That's not my bow. That's my bow. Alright, good. Now we will have the boots. Give me my arrow. Alright. Now we get the boots. One, two. One, two, three. Combine. That is. What? Did I do something wrong? What the hell? I didn't want a quiver. What am I doing wrong? Die. Hold on. I need to see what the hell I did wrong. 
because I did something wrong. Rabbit fur. Rabbit fur boots. Yeah. Two rope. Three rabbit hide. Is that what I not did? Did I not do that? Did I not do that? Will someone e explain my stupidity? On how I am not able to make the rabbit fur boots? Am I missing something? Is it not telling me something? Or am I just like ignorant? I might be ignorant. I don't know. Um, let's see. It's a cave. Cave. That cave goes into a giant pit, I believe. I do believe. Um, no. Oh, the hardest part about the achievement hunting thing will end up being grabbing the goose head. I do want to get the trophy hunter achievement, even though I have made a video on where to find like crocodiles and stuff, I've never actually gotten the achievement itself. I just wanted to like, cause I mean I, I know where all the things that you need that most people don't know of, I know where those things spawn. So I just wanted to show that in that video, and then I did. So that, I mean, it was nice. Um, I think I might just start the layout of the house in this video. Now from watching people like Farkit and Mad Vlad, I absolutely love Mad Vlad. Um we need need to get a height for rock walls. Well actually I might wanna I might wanna find exactly where I wanna build. I might build over here near the cliff. Just go like this. That's all we need. Then we need to get it again. Oh, is it not going to let it snap on top? No, it's not. Alright, we need to basically just build three walls high, so I'm going to have to, like, estimate roughly on how high that would be. It would probably be up here, right? No, up there. Oh, that's really high. Ooh. Let me do it there. But the the logic behind this is supposed to be um the logic behind it is like so you'd have the rock walls, right? You'd have rock walls and then the rock walls are a bit tankier, like I said earlier. They're a bit tankier. So you'd basically have rocks defending and I don't think if they're like three rock wall high they can't hit the foundation from like this point up here the like floor itself they can't hit that so that's that's the logic behind that now log sled very helpful right here okay you know we can build the log sled then we'll call it a video now I'm actually getting pretty excited to uh, start this series off and get this video going. Or these videos going. Um, I don't know, I, I was, like I said earlier, I was kind of worried about negative feedback, things like that. Sorry, alright, my, my guy's breathing scared the hell out of me. Um, but yeah, I, I tend to like talk myself out of things that I want to do, which is bad, but I mean, it, it, it happens, I guess. Um, but I, normally I just have to force myself into doing it, and once I start it, I feel a lot better, and I don't have as much anxiety. I've been excited to make this video all weekend. Oh, that's one thing I need to talk about that I didn't talk about uh, Monday, was 
my schedule. I, it was every other day, and then I would do, like, double videos where it was, like, I posted Sunday as well as Monday. But now I'm doing weekends, I don't post, and then I post Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So that's my schedule as of right now. Just so it's not, like, I, I hope you guys have noticed that I do have a, a schedule, not a very, like, nice schedule, but I mean a schedule nonetheless, and it, it's helpful to have a schedule when it comes to actually putting out content. Um, so just so you guys know, it's when to expect videos to come from me. It'd be Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. Those are the days I record and upload. I tend to record the day of and then upload the day of. It's, I mean, since I don't do much editing, it doesn't take, like, you know, two days just to make one video. As of right now, I eventually do want to get recording software. Or not recording software, editing software. Let me change the flag. I want to change the flag. Let me change the flag. Am I not able to change the flag anymore? Please, let me change the flag. Oh, well. Alright, well, that's going to be the end of this video. First video to our series. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you're new. Uh, like I said, I post content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, this new content now will be the series. Or, yeah, this series. Um, definitely leave a like if you want to actually see the videos of the series, um, comment if you have any tips, or if you have a different place that you would want to see, we can always, you know, it, it, we're not limited to having one house in the forest, thankfully, so we're able to move around, hop around, jump around, any type of movement you desire, we're able to do it, and then get out of here, so, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and remember, shine bright. Neon bright. Bye.